Oh, let me slash who. Oh my god, he's banned. What the fuck I am? <laughs> oh no. I hope Eyes Closed does not get disqualified. Let me check uh, the clan points on uh, the website. Leaderboards, clan ranking. Account. Oh Manual no. Wire. Oh, we're not top one anymore. Fuck. God, imagine manually banning a legit player. Ugh. The worst part is they don't even give evidence as to why. I mean, Scar, yeah, I wanna... Scar is like a, a known player compared to other people. Yeah. I get Paul V. He's a, he's a fucking nobody, dude. I mean, hey, <laughs> just kidding, dude. But Scar, dude, that guy fucks. He fucks on stream. He fucks on YouTube. I'm literally fucking right now. He's literally this? fucking on Smite because he's fed up with Black Squad. All right, so right now I'm gonna play the video that might have gotten Scar ban. <laughs> it's it's just like, just watch it. It's fucking dumb. Smoke, but taps back and gets one from mid. He didn't even shoot the guy behind the wall. There's a lot of players that do this on purpose, and it's fucking hilarious. There's Flya, Mapapa, they all do this shit on purpose. He'll get another one on Tamara, now spraying towards mid. Spraying through the wall there. Wow. <laughs> like he pre-aimed the door, but make like, he made a micro adjustment after that. I mean, as someone should. The aim lock is so obvious. Wait, right, let me read this. <sighs> the aim lock is so off. Uh, watch his own video over and over again. You will notice that he is cheating. Fake pro. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't dislike this already. It's such a fucking sad video. Damn, that's deep. There's people that actually buy this too. Uh, I'm gonna swing over to a, a video my papa posted. Hey, let me find it real quick. He does this shit all the fucking time. All right, so he titled his own video, my papa is cheating black squad. Hey guys, I don't wanna promote cheats, but I <laughs> do think I have enough proof to get this guy banned. <laughs> all right, let's watch this one. Let's watch this one. Oh, lo and behold, the guy's right there. Dude, ev there's so many players that do this, like, because they know where the uh, the other guy is, so they shoot at the wall. It's These guys are legit, too. Oh, wow. B big fish, dude. <laughs> That's something Fly does a lot, and, like, I, I'll even occasionally do that too. Yep, big big hack, dude. Oh no, he's hacking. It's just funny because there's so many players that do this, and now they're gonna get penalized because like the people that watch the videos, the staff. They're so shit at playing the game themselves that they're like, oh, if I was up against this, I would think that's a hack too. That was a nice flick, by the way. We can all appreciate that one. Good job, my papa. You're going to get banned next. I'm going to get a little Hearthstone clip. <laughs> nice. So, that's that's that. Scar sent me something. Uh, screenshot. This is about his uh, Scar ban appeal. They ha I, apparently they haven't opened it in like three days. They haven't done anything with it in three days, which is this is a big, this is pretty big for the game right now. I mean, since he's one of the mo most known players in the game, it's a small game, so it's like, this is pretty big that they haven't answered it yet. It's been like three days. I even put my moss files from the tournament that was in question, which uh, would prove that I wasn't using anything in that tournament. Yeah, so Scar is trying to do the right thing, trying to get unbanned. But they haven't answered his fucking ticket yet. Because they suck at answering tickets. All they say when you talk to them is throw them a ticket. But what do they do with those tickets? Absolutely fucking nothing. They're shit. And if this, this clan war event goes south and we don't get any rewards for it. And then he gets unbanned after. That's going to look so fucking bad for them. I mean this already looks terrible for them. Because manually banning him 
for no reason without any <laughs> fucking real evidence. Ugh. It it's dumb. It's fucking dumb. Alright, Scar, I need a I need a, like a no. little interview of you after. Okay. Alright, we got we got Scar on the, the line here for an interview. A quick little interview about his band. What's up, guys? Yeah, that's, that's Scar. We got a little interview with him about his band. How do you feel about it? Uh pretty confused, honestly. Um I was I mean I was kind of expecting it after seeing that exposed video. I mean like two people have been banned the same way, so uh, it I only takes one exposed video, a one really shitty put together video. I mean, a lot of people do what you did in that video. I mean, well, like, shoot at walls. Why he does it all the time? Why isn't he banned yet? My papa does it all the time. He even uploaded a video, and I watched it. That I'm actually gonna put into this video that I'm making, my papa's video, of him like shooting through walls and stuff. Cause every the, a lot of people do that same thing too. I do that too sometimes. Yeah, but like. Uh, thing like I, I'm not like I can't just assume that they're just using that video, but like it it does seem like they're using it because well we don't know because uh, yeah like as soon as I saw it I noticed that in the comments that he was gonna report it and like three days later I get banned so it's like a little bit of a coincidence that that happened but like the thing is that people don't know the context of this whole tournament yeah um, throughout the whole tournament I was actually talking to the the commentator like the whole tournament was a a joke basically because it was being run, like ran really badly, and the, the commentator really wanted to like stop even like commentating the games. Yeah. So that was like the last game that was commentated before like the tournament was basically just cancelled. Yeah. I mean, not really cancelled, but like we got we got disqualified because of some other bullshit. But uh, during that game, I I whispered him before the game even started. I told him to spectate me, and I was doing this the whole game. <laughs> if, if people would actually watch the wad, they would notice me shooting at the walls the whole game, yeah. hitting a single <laughs> target. But the one time that I hit two targets, like kind of close, yeah, yeah, it gets clipped and I'm cheating. So like, you know, go figure. But I mean, for the people that are just you know cheap, saying that I'm like 100% cheating just because they see something that I've done in a video and and then they like put two and two together in their heads and they're like, well, if he's banned, then yeah, it does look kind of suspicious, right? But yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I've sent them a ticket and. They haven't responded to me. <laughs> this is kind yeah. of a big issue. They should respond to you as soon as possible. This yeah, is they should have responded to me before they disqualify my whole clan of 50 people. Uh, yeah, that's what I talked about in my video. This not only affects just you, it affects 49 other players. Yeah, like, the only annoying. thing I was thinking about when I saw the band was, was like, my friends and I's close. That's literally it. And they all know that I'm not cheating, so... Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. So, but, what was, yeah, what I, was I, I gonna... Know. Oh, yeah. The whole thing with the evidence thing, like... You can't really tell what they use. Like maybe they did use those two clips, but you can't really tell because they're not making any statement about it. They're not. They're not saying what evidence yeah. they used. They're not even like answering me as to what evidence they use. Like they're just being so shady about it, and that pisses me off the most. It would be nice to know. <laughs> you know, it would be nice to know why my friend Scar yeah. got banned manually. I mean, like I, I sent them the most files from that tournament. Yeah. And and they are the ones who say that Moss Files is like, like the safest, uh, like way to see if somebody's cheating or not, which I I, I strongly disagree with. But like, I, I, it would be nice if they would at least you know see what I'm giving them like as, mm -hmm. as evidence, uh, like, because I, like I'm definitely not cheating. I've never cheated in Black Squad before. Yeah, so. I mean, with your Moss that you submitted in the ticket, if they even do view that ticket, <laughs> fingers crossed. Like yeah. they'll see that you're you're legit. Like it was th it was those two games, the Brooklyn and the Two Face game, right? Collection. No, it was collection. As was well. it collection? Yeah, like I'm I'm okay with sharing. Like, yeah, yeah. With the public. Yeah, I mean, I, w I want people to look at it. I want people to look at my log files and see what I'm running because <laughs> I've got nothing to hide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and I hope I wish people could watch the what because like it's it's going on throughout the whole tournament. You know, it'd be really shitty if they. After this whole clan event, after it's done, is when they unban you. Because I feel like you will get unbanned. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. That's, that's gonna. How how would you feel about that if after the tournament, like the clan event, if they ended? Do that, they, then I feel like this is hundred percent uh, related to apparition or apparition or whatever the clan is called. Yeah. Because they have. 
basically climbed from top three to top one by some really really weird reasons <laughs> and if they do happen to unban me after like the next update and i still don't get my rewards then yeah then, then it's definitely like yeah you know, some weird like conspiracy shit that i couldn't even explain if i tried to so regarding like the top three clans like there's two clans above us right yeah yeah there was there was wings esports who were first yeah uh, i i don't have any proof I, like i i see some people having some proof uh, like against them like latch lag searching uh, maybe even farming their own clans i'm not really sure to be honest but i know that apparition farmed their own clan mm -hmm. for sure like i literally saw it with my own eyes they were like switching like the names of like various artists to like uh, i think they, like they changed the letters they made like one letter really big like you know how like the l and i look really similar yeah yeah you, like caps lock them yeah they were they were doing that shit and you could see it like it was so obvious Mm -hmm. and uh, nothing was done about that like it was reported like a million times at this point and nothing has been done about that so also there's also another clan in top 20 with uh, a person that owns the clan just like me he's also banned but they didn't do anything to that clan so, <laughs> you know. of course not yeah so this is weird that. how like this this event's coming to a close and this is all happening now though that's kind of weird yeah they like really it's like they really wanted to not uh, not like one really something to happen. <laughs> yeah, not one like thought in my mind thinks that you ever hacked. Like if anyone watched you play any other game like Apex Legends, they'll see that your aim is nuts and you're like you're not a fucking bot. You're like you're actually fucking <laughs> sick at aiming. <laughs> I've been, I've been Dude, Scara owns 17 mouse pads. <laughs> I, I, and like over I, 10 I, I mice have an addiction. i have an addiction for fucking mouse pads this I'm guy games <laughs> you, th you think yeah, someone's I mean, gonna hack with 17 mouse pads nah dude <laughs> all they need is one shitty mouse pad and one mice scar yeah. goes above and beyond i, I want people to know like th this is a manual ban as well yeah this it's is not 100 percent manual it's ban. By, it's bought by it's it's done by some person that has looked into something and like, you know, he 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 was suspicious about something that I've done. Yeah. And, like he feels as if he has to like do something about it, which is you know. You know it's okay, but like I just wish they would actually look at my ticket and see mm -hmm. that, like what I have to say. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this uh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This interview interview in one one word. Preston. <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy uh, theory. <laughs> all right it's been a pleasure scar yeah likewise all right let's go play smite let's get off that all black right. squad game piece of shit yeah, that, was <laughs> that was perfect hey you shit hacker go die you are clan has died you need player who can play by closing eyes i know you can play by closing eyes because you are just a shit hacker go die bot by a cancer <laughs> you know, you know that's what like a, funny? it's kind of like a poem <laughs> It's funny because like Tiger 2.0 is saying that you hack too, and he's he's from No Clip and he's blatantly hacking too. All that all the hackers are coming out that actually hacked and think that you hack, which is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Took him a while, but you know he finally. Uh, dude, he just the reason why he went in on you is because you never replied to him. Go die, bot. By a cancer. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Good morning, brother Skara. It's me, Ray's from UAE Dubai. I'm sad to see a lot of players is happy about your banat. And I hope to stay strong, bro. And this game is dead anyway. And if you do any mistakes, that is the life. And if that falls bent so, you are with you because you a good man and players. And he put like a little rose. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, look how the way he put it. He put it like a poem. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That's he beautiful, like dude. <laughs> he wrote his name wrong. <laughs> I fucking love that guy. That's beautiful. Yeah. I like that. You know, 657 wins, 309 losses. We were uh, rank one because the two... There's two teams ahead of us but they got banned because they actually had hackers but we got we got disqualified as well because Skara 
got banned. He got manually banned. And he doesn't hack, which is the funny part. He's he's legit. He's actually just nutty. But someone submitted some shitty fucking clip evidence where he he accused Scar of aim walking and <laughs> it's just sad. The whole the fucking dev team or the the people that run Black Squad are fucking brain dead. And I hate to say that, but it's true. Like the, their decision making is fucking horrible. All this time, all this time right here, playing clan, uh, clan wars, has gone to waste. No one in this clan is gonna get any rewards now, because the dumb fucks who decided to ban Scara. Now everyone has to face those consequences for something that Scar does. That, dude, Scar is legit. If you watch him play any other game like Apex Legends, you see that he's a good player. He's not some fucking dumbass using fucking aim walk. This pisses me off because it's not so much about him getting banned. It's about everyone else in the clan that's worked hard to get number one. Won't get any rewards because of it. And that's what pisses me off. Black Squad has one of the worst staff team, uh, dev team if you want to call that. Uh, their decision making is fucking horrible. They like to sweep things under the rug. Oh, and just submit a ticket. But if you submit a ticket, you're going to get like an automated message almost with poor grammar. And it's just like a slap in the face. It's like a, it's a little fucking slap in the face, dude. It just sucks. Uh, Scara, unfairly banned. I mean, this isn't the first time it's happened to him too. Same with Polvi. I mean, they're both good players. You can watch them play any other game. They're fucking talented. But no. They're too good. Black Squad has... Black Squad, the people that play Black Squad and run this game, they play Destruction. They knife the fucking boxes, dude. And this pisses me off, man. It pisses me off so much that this game is so poorly fucking ran because it's actually a pretty decent game. It's just horrifically ran. Uh, this is the updated clan rankings. Eyes Closed is rank 33, I believe. Yeah, we're rank 33. We're not even top 1 anymore, top 3. Because Scar got banned and then all of our points went down. So, all that time, hours and hours of clan warring, gone. Just gone because of a, a manual ban that was unjust. They didn't even prove any evidence. They they Scar is a known player. He makes YouTube videos. He he t streams on Twitch. People know of him. Just to manually ban him like that and not give any fucking statement or evidence. Are you fucking dumb? <laughs> You're fucking killing your game, and it it, it it pisses me off, because all that time and effort in him actually going out of his way to make content for a game that's free to play, advertise the game through his content, g gain more traction, build his name up, just for you to fucking manually ban him, that pisses me off so much. That makes me want to stop making videos for this fucking shit game. What, I'm sitting at almost 32k subscribers off of this game alone. Like, I've spent so much time making content for this game. It's fucking free advertisement. It's free. I have more subscribers than their fucking shitty YouTube channel. And that pisses me off too. Like... This might sound cocky, but I am the face of this game. Like, when people go on YouTube and try and search up gameplay on this game, they see my content first. They click on my videos. I put so much time and effort into my videos. And this makes me not want to do any of that. This makes me want to jump away from this game. They fucking suck at running this game. Like, you type in Black Squad, you don't even see the Black Squad channel. <laughs> you don't even see the Black Squad channel. Like, the people that run this game, Black Squad uh, channel. Yeah, I think you have to type in channel, yeah. They have 13.3k subscribers, you know, a little bit less than me. And their videos are very subpar, they're very bad, they're very sporadic when they upload. This game is coming down to a cash grab. That's all it's coming down to. Uh...
it's just skins, skins, skins. Very little to do with any actual structure of the game. Uh, their maps are fucking horrible. The maps that they're making now, they're just copying CSGO maps. That tells me the dev team, not not good. Very very not good. They do not care about the game. This game, all, it all comes down to just a cash grab. And at the end of the day, nothing matters. Uh, obviously, they manually banned Skara, a very good player, affecting... 49 other players in his clan not gonna get rewards for that why'd they even make the clan event a thing right if they're just gonna fucking tear it apart like in competitive season their anti-cheat's a fucking joke there's people spawn killing i mean you spawn in all five of you die right away and their anti-cheat does not pick that up but they're gonna go out of their way and manually ban a good player like you're fucking kidding? This game is a dog, dude. Like, <laughs> there's no other way to describe it. <laughs> this game is just, like, why have these events if you're just gonna do that? If you're just gonna throw out all the competition? Like, is Apparition sucking the staff off? Did they, is there an underground deal? Probably not, but. The fact that Skara got manually banned without any evidence is, it's just upsetting. So this is the Black Squad Discord general chat. I was just muted in this chat for three days because I was pretty much demanding evidence as to why Skara got banned or or even Polvi. He did, nothing really was said about Polvi's manual ban. Um, it just pisses me off because... uh. They can throw around manual bans, but they won't do anything about it. Like, they won't show evidence as to why. For someone like Skara, who's actually a known player, there should have been a statement or some evidence. Because, personally, I think he's 200% legit. Not, not one part of me thinks he ever hacked. He's just a fucking nutty player. It just pisses me off because seeing all these good players get banned for no reason when the anti-cheat can't even pick up the obvious hacks, there's a problem with this game. So I got a little heated in the, the Black Squad general chat on Discord because I was, this is also, this is, this is fucking frustrating. So I'm like, who, who, he even runs Black Squad anymore? He's so poorly ran. I'd like to see evidence uh, against Scar that got him banned. And yada da da da. Uh, I feel as though anyone that who plays with him regularly, talking about Scar, should be banned too. Ban me next, please. The people that run this game sadly don't even play the game. Facts. There is no bridge that connects the pe people who run the game and its player base. Another fact. Uh, the game is still fun, in my personal opinion, but it's awful knowing that the people who run this game don't give a flying fuck. Facts. That's sadly true. A lot of people agree with this. Most of the community agrees with that. And then Mercer, I guess, I get. I don't know if he's one of the mods, but he's like, it's, it's weird that with your background, you were asking support to share evidence against another user with a third uh, party. Regardless, please refrain from sweeping your opinion, <laughs> sweeping you opinion about Black Squad as a fact. As fact. I, sorry, I can't read this correctly. His grammar is not that great. Since your opinion includes several misconceptions and in information, just the fact that you guys say this every time without act uh, actually asking the real players who play this game every day proves Flex's point. Thank you. Thank you. So I said, I'd like to see why Scar got banned. It's general chat. Should I submit more tickets uh, resulting in shitty automated responses? All I get are poorly typed automated messages from from the tickets that I submit. This is a community issue, not something to talk about in secrecy. Banning people manually, <laughs> in brackets, in parentheses, poll V, XD, because he got banned manually without evidence, is wrong. Show us the evidence, make a post about it, make a video of your reasoning, please. I mean, poll V and Scar, they're both known. They go manually banned f for no reason. It's, it's dumb. I'll post my opinion in here until I'm banned. This game isn't getting any better. Not talking about these issues won't help openly. 
I got uh, like a three day mute from the Black Squad general chat because I was talking about these issues openly instead of submitting a ticket. I guess that's that's a uh, name shaming, if you want to put it that way. I don't know where the name shaming came in, but uh, <laughs> sure. So let's go check my ticker history. So I mentioned something about the hackers in the game and me being the largest advertisement of the game. Let's read what they had to say. So, I'm like, hey Flexinger here, as of right now, competitive is not very fun or thrilling to play. It's either you dodge hackers or dealing with a five full stack team, which is obviously no fun to play against. It's basically competitive versus clan war. If you're not playing with a five stack, you're mostly going, uh, most likely going to lose. People that consistently play with five stacks are climbing super fast. Solo duo needs to make a return to balance competitive, which is a fair point, because if it's competitive and you're facing five stacks all day, you're just going to fucking lose. The point differences between players wouldn't matter as much if uh, it were solo duo. But as of right now, a team full of dragon and cobra ones, five stack basically clan, will dominate a team full of lions and eagles. Com competitive is very dry for people that want to climb, but do don't want to play with four of the players. Alright, switching topics, Black Squad doesn't have much... Uh, advertisement, which means fewer people know that this game even exists. I think Black Squad has potential, uh, has the potential for more and more players if advertised correctly. I mean, they suck at doing that. R right now, I currently sit at almost 32,000 subscribers on YouTube and average over 12,000 views per video. I am the largest advertiser for Black Squad. I enjoy making content for the game. But there's a huge disconnect between the dev team and the player base. I don't even know who runs this game anymore. Uh, I try my best to put out con uh, great content resulting in new players trying out the game. I feel unmotivated a lot to continue making content for the, uh, because of the disconnect between the dev team and the player base. Additionally, being the largest content creator, advertiser, are there any rewards I could benefit from? One thing I can think of that will make my experience better in content better is unlocking all the skins permanently but making them locked to my account so i can't trade them or uh sell them so they're fixated to my account people seeing me use certain uh skins in games will promote sales of skins it's a win-win situation i mean since they're a cash grab game now as you can tell they're gonna bring in more profit if i'm using more skins in my content like this would actually make my content better if i had all the skins i'm more compelled to play and create more content that I'm now being rewarded with benefits for being the number one content creator and Black Squad will make more in-game sales at the cost of nothing. I'm free advertisement at the end of the day. I have a lot of people who watch my videos and comment saying I'm the reason they found out that Black Squad exists. Trying my best to suggest what needs to be changed and also bridge the gap between the dev team and the player base. Thanks. So what kind of shit response did I get? Hello Flexinja. Thank you for contacting us through support. We're sorry about your, uh, the inconvenience that players are experiencing, but NS Studios is always dedicated to the enjoyable experience of our players. <laughs> Please remember that we're always on the player's side. Appreciate your pace <laughs> patience. I read this and cringe. <laughs> uh, we appreciate your attention on Black Squad to submit the ticket, your experience. <laughs> submit the ticket, your experience. And understand your frustration when you faced a player with unfair, uh, unfair advantage. Your attention will help us make Black Squad better. Competitive playground. What? Uh, also, if you share a specific evidence for your if, uh, issue, it will help us to investigate and take further actions on the factors what made your inconvenience. Uh, NS, Studio, NS Studios is always dedicated to the enjoyable experience of our players. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thanks. So they completely they completely dodged me sw switching topics on the advertisement part. They completely they completely fucking sidestepped that. And this is this is their this is how they answer every ticket. I'm not even kidding. So what happens when you talk to anyone that runs Black Squad or like the staff or community members is that they'll t always tell you to submit a ticket. And this is gonna be your most general response they're just gonna give you the most fucking brief little automated response ever and it sucks yeah so that's how they handled my little ticket 
I'm sure if I submitted a ticket about with Scar and getting evidence from for his band, they wouldn't do shit either. This guy randomly messaged me on Black Squad. Infini Infineon is his name, and he's like, Bot, Scar a band. You are next fucking skillless bot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. love it. Shout out to this guy. 